I am so thankful you have joined me again for another edition of the Morning Mindset podcast, which is part of the Live, Build, Change podcast. Live, Build, Change is about living your faith, building a business, and then combining those two to change the world like only a follower of Christ could do. If you are curious about that or want more information, you can go to livebuildchange.com and find out all you need to know. Well, this morning, Mindset, we're going to be talking about an uncomfortable subject, a difficult subject, and that is the subject of judgment. We see in the book of Exodus, which is where we've been spending our time the last two to three weeks, that in the life of Moses, God did some amazing things, not just to reveal himself to Moses and the people of Israel, but to reveal himself to the people of Egypt, the oppressors of the Israelites, the ones who had held them as slavery for over 400 years. God is showing himself to them. And in this case, he's doing it through judgment. Now, judgment is kind of a negative word in our culture. We don't like it when people judge, when people make judgments. You hear people quite often say, don't judge me, or I have no right to judge. And what they are trying to communicate is that judgment in some way is negative. Well, let me just say this real quickly. Judgment in and of itself is not negative. Judgment is just making a discerning assessment of a situation or of a person's actions or of uh, your own motives. I mean, we make judgments all day long, and that's from the pl- that's the place from which our decisions flow is the judgments that we make. Now, in the book of Exodus, the kind of judgments we're talking about are judgments God is making against the people of Israel. So in this case, it does feel very negative because God is bringing a hardship against them in judgment. He's saying what you are doing in keeping the Israelites captive is wrong. And I'm bringing this painful thing against you to impress upon you how wrong it is and to motivate you to turn away. This kind of judgment is similar to the kind of discipline that a parent brings into a child's life when a child is disobedient, right? It's very much the same thing. Now, we're not going to get into a debate about spankings and and standing kids in the timeout corner or things like that, though I do have very strong opinions about those things. But the point is, judgment of this kind is something we are familiar with. We see it in the courts as well. When you go into court for a speeding ticket, or worse, a a felony charge of some kind, there is a judge who sits at the bench and he makes judgment. He pronounces judgment or a jury will pronounce judgment in the case, saying who has done right and who has done wrong and what the penalty will be for that. You see, judgment is an ingrained part of who we are as human beings. And we can't run away from that. We have to actually embrace that because judgment is necessary and needed in order to be a healthy society and a healthy individual. Now, where does judgment come from? The concept of judgment flows out of the character of God because God does not have a rule book or a constitution that he looks to to determine right and wrong. God is the standard of right and wrong in his own character, in his own nature, is the definition of right and wrong. And so when God brings judgment against a people like he does here in Egypt, even as harsh as these judgments are, he is doing what is exactly right for that circumstance because he is God. So I want to let that settle in your soul a little bit. We're going to talk about a little more tomorrow. Because we have to get our minds and our hearts around this fact that God's judgment is always right. It is always just because he is the standard of judgment. So today, just rest in that fact. Understand that your God is a God of righteous judgment. Mm -hmm.